Ask Reddit by Stone CT. What gets more hate than it should? Donkeys. Those poor fella just be chillin. Doing menial work and not disturbing anybody and for some reason the term came to mean as someone who's utter incompetent and stupid. Also baby donkeys are probably only behind puppies and kittens when it comes to cutest tiny fuzzy fellas. The word moist. I'm just describing this nice cake I'm eating and you're acting like I'm reciting ancient curses from the satanic bible. Better than a dry cake any day. Any band that tries a different sound. Reminds me of the classic ACDC quote. I'm sick to death of people saying we've made 11 albums that sound exactly the same. In fact, we've made 12 albums that sound exactly the same. Angus Young. Tom from Tom and Amp. Jerry. He just wants to chill while that little piece of shit annoys him all the time. My kid made me buy them a Tom plushie from a shop we were in last week, when I offered to get a Jerry one to I was told in polite terms to fuck off as he's a nutter prick. Bandwagon hating on something in general is a huge problem. I try to make a point to have a full explanation of why I dislike something before I go hating on it. Also, I am open to debate said dislike. Yeah I hate that too. Anything that's school age, especially middle school and below, kids are into. Yes, it's a fad, yes it will die out, yes it's probably something stupid. Whether it's a toy, a phrase, a show, a band, it doesn't matter. They're at a formative age in their lives when they are just starting to figure out who they are. If they like something, it can be really painful to hear other people shit on it. Kids that age have trouble separating themselves from what they like, it's an integral part of their identity. If you tell them that's dumb they hear you're dumb. Just be careful of how you express your displeasure at whatever that 12 year old kid is most recently into. Rather than saying you hate something, instead say you personally don't enjoy it or that it's not something you're into and leave it at that. What's crazy to me is those adults acting like they weren't interested in super dumb shit as kids too. It's like we all forget how unnecessary 90% of the shit we wanted as kids were. That one spoon in your kitchen you hate for no reason. What? Fuck that spoon. Going out alone. Being an adult and liking things that are considered childish. People get so much hate and get told to grow up, listen, I didn't get to enjoy my childhood. Let me enjoy things. Let me play video games. Let me watch animation. Let me buy that Tamagotchi. It's not hurting anyone. Grow up is about taking your responsibilities seriously, and it says nothing about enjoying whatever the fuck you want. Responsibly, of course. Anything that becomes overrated will stir up a counter movement of hate. From Skyrim to Neil deGrasse Tyson. The top comment will be adoring said idol, but the most upvoted first reply will be saying it's trash. It's like people feel like they have to correct the 5 star rating by voting 1 star, even though their real opinion is 3.5 stars. They keep re-releasing Skyrim on everything because it's still amazing to play to this day. People complain about game preservation and to me this is exactly what we should be asking for. Edit, I know starting a specific discussion wasn't your main point, but Skyrim hate really grinds my gears. Everything Reddit decides it doesn't like. Except Jeff. They're right to hate Jeff. Fuck Jeff. Crows. Say it ain't so. I like crows. Monica Lewinsky she was 23, and did nothing most people wouldn't do. 23, wow. I was in middle school at the time so she seemed so much older. Being content on being single. Me. I love you man. Not what but who. Kirk Hammett. 
I mean he has never been the best guitarist, but he gets too much hate sometimes. Being a big dude trying to get healthy. When I first started lifting I was an out of shape big dude working on the preacher curls https colon slash slash barband dot com slash wp dash content slash uploads slash two zero two two slash zero five slash shutter stock underscore one zero one nine zero three one eight eight three dash one dot jpg close bracket i've got the weight on the first stack and am struggling to complete the set when i finally do this huge jacked black guy think terry cruz walks up and takes off one half of his headphone and says yo mind if we rotate i say sure and he sits down moves the pin to the bottom of the stack and lifts them with basically the same effort as it would take me to move a tissue box now it's my turn i move it back to the top of the stack and lift to the point that sweat is running down my face onto the pad when i'm done i furiously wipe it off with my towel and mutter sorry guy looks me in the eye and says sorry what the fuck you sorry about? We came here to sweat, you'll be proud of that shit. I'm a smaller dude now. And trust me, none of us judge you. Rainy days. I love the rain. Questions. Guy Fury. I was one of these people until I realized what an amazing person he is. He does a lot for local businesses and the food world in general. I imagine it stems mostly from his look which is a combination of a frat guy mixed with a male runway model. Taking the bus it's pretty chill. Takes forever, and sometimes they just straight don't show up. But if I'm gonna sit in traffic, I'd rather let someone else drive. Cheaper too. Just being a nice person to others. Cats. Why every time someone says they love dogs they then feel the need to attempt to invalidate cats as an animal in comparison is beyond me. People will tell me oh do you know they'll eat you once you die bitch I would do the same if my fucking owner died and I had no access to food. Being a millennial and wanting to live childless child free. For heaven's sake. Just let people choose how they want to live their lives. Want to be child free? Cool. Want kids? Cool. It's been my experience that people who are happy with their decision to have children never try and pressure other people into it. It's always the bitter, angry parents who didn't realize they had a choice and now don't want you to have one either. Nuclear energy. It's very safe. But a couple of massive disasters due to growth negligence, and also the fact that the word nuclear is involved, has given it a bad image to the point where people just assume it's dangerous and a bad idea. Tell you what the bad idea is, is sticking to fossil fuels. People with mental illnesses who don't act like Wednesday or other quirky characters. Oh, and pigeons. Yeah the manic pixie trope isn't doing much for them. Dark chocolate. Give me that 92%. Being in your 20s or above and living at home with your parents or other family members. Is this something that really gets hate? I stayed at home till 30. Only person hating on me for it was me. Kids. They literally don't know any better. Cut them some slack. Suicide. The person that commits. Yes, everyone suddenly loved and adored the victim. Wow. Yet the victim is the selfish one. Take a damn few minutes to talk to someone that you know is in pain. Or fuck off. This one gets me so angry. Especially all the, reach out to people, depression lies, they care sayings. When I'm feeling isolated and don't reach out to people, it's not because my depression is making things up. It's because I'm remembering things that people have already said when I tried to reach out to them before. I don't have time for this. There's nothing wrong with you. You're fine. The time they hung up on me. And I have no doubt that if I did succeed in hurting myself, they would forget those times and say things like, 
If only she had told me what she was going through, we had no idea.